Ian Mosty. And just a word on Hurricane Fly's career in the round. He is extraordinary, but he's been at his most dominant on home soil, even though he's won two champion hurdles. Yeah, I think, you know, that, that's it. Just about sums it up. Any horse that wins that amount of grade ones, no matter whether people say they're weak or strong, you still have to go out and win them. Hurricane Fly for Willie Mullins. This might just tell us something about his well-being. What it won't tell us is whether he's up to defeating these extraordinarily exciting young hurdlers like the new one and our Connor come the festival in March when yeah, he comes back to defend his crown. Only an impressive performance, performance will satisfy everybody. And for those who love numbers and records and so forth, this will provide uh, a certain satisfaction of its own kind. They are walking, ambling, ambling into line at Punchestown for the Grade 1 Morgiana Hurdle. Hurricane Fly, 20 wins from 31 career starts, and this will take him over a million and a half in prize money. Desi Scarhill is going to call him, as he's done so many times before. Followed by Hurricane Fly. Mariko is next on the inside of Midnight Game, and Ekatara, the backmarker of the five-runner field, have made their way towards the first flight, taking them up in front of the stands. And Mikael Dagenet and David Casey out five lengths in front of Hurricane Fly and Ruby Walsh, Marito, Katie Walsh on the inside of Midnight Game and Brian Cooper with Akatara and Brian Hayes, the back marker of the quintet. So they race up now to pass in front of the stands and make their way towards the second flight in the StanJames.com Morgiana hurdle as Mikael Dagenet shows the way to three stable companions, Hurricane Fly, Marito, Midnight Game and a couple of lengths then to Akatara. Racing onto the bend to swing away from the stands towards the second flight. Mikel Dagenet in the lead from Hurricane Fly, Marito, Midnight Game, and Akatara. Swinging on now towards the second flight. And it's Mikel Dagenet, David Casey, four lengths in front of Hurricane Fly. Ruby Walsh over in second, Marito is third, Midnight Game is fourth, and Akatara, the back mark of the five. They make the run down now, hill towards flight number three. As Mikel Dagenet shows the way to Hurricane Fly Marito Midnight Game and Akatara, the back marker of the five, they make the way towards flight number three. Mikel Dagenet bowling along in front, showing the way to Hurricane Fly. In third place is Marito, followed by Midnight Game and the back marker Akatara. So shortly now they'll be swinging to make their way across towards the fourth flight. With in front, Mikel Dagenet, showing the way to Hurricane Fly, who's close within a couple of lengths of the leader, tracked by Marito, Midnight Game, and Akatara. So shortly now, coming up towards the halfway stage, as Mikel Dagenet shows a couple of lengths in front of Hurricane Fly. In third place, Marito, then comes Midnight Game and Akatara, as the five runners in single file race now to the fly right across from the stands, as they reach the halfway stage. Mikel Dagenet, a couple of lengths in front of the champion, Hurricane Fly. He's bidding for his eighth victory here at Punchestown. Started his winning career here with his winning maiden. He's one of only two horses to regain the champion hurdle. And today bidding to rewrite the record books of grade one victories as they race right over on the far side. And Mikel Dagenet, stable companion, leads from Hurricane Fly. Two further stable companions, three and four, Marito and Midnight Game, and Akatara, the back marker of the five. They're racing across now towards the final half mile. They've got three to jump, Mikel Dagenet, the long, long odds on favorite, Hurricane Fly, in second place, Marito third, Midnight Game four, and Akatara. Now they make their way across to the flight before they swing into the straight, and it's Mikel Dagenet. Hurricane Fly in second place on the outside. In third is Marito and Midnight Game Akatara. They're on the run now for the home turn. A turn that has brought Hurricane Fly so much success for Rebelbank champion hurdles here. And now bidding for his eighth victory on the course. Looms up on the outside of Mikel Dagenet with Marito in third and Midnight Game. And on the run down now towards the final flight. It's Hurricane Fly shaken up by Ruby Walsh now to lead Mikel Dagenet. Marito in third. Pings the final flight, the champion. And Hurricane Fly now just getting a reminder from Ruby Walsh to just keep him up to his task. He's been chased by his sister Katie on Marito. But Hurricane Fly will do it. 
17 brave ones for Hurricane Fly. A great performance in four this afternoon for Ruby and Willie. Marito second, Mikael Dagenet third, and midnight game. A clean sweep for the Clos Sutton Express. Well, well, quite a bit upon which to muse after the record-breaking victory of Hurricane Fly. First thing to say, many congratulations to Horse and Rider for breaking a, a magnificent record of Grade 1 victories. I can't believe that Ruby Walsh thought Corto Stars would ever be broken, but it has been by this horse in what was a, an interesting race, Mick, and one that he might have had to work a good bit harder to win had stable companion Marito jumped the last fluently, and it was Ruby Walsh's sister Katie who was pursuing him pretty aggressively up the running. Certainly was. You can just see there as well a shot of the earplug almost coming out, but he was very long there, but it shows how much scope and how much petrol he had left in his tank, and, you know, it's great to see him because he's a class individual. But Mick, there will be people saying with some justification that's not the sort of emphasis we expected from a dual champion hurdle when it is he is he past his best or can you not glean that well it 